This is Vemza and welcome to the last tutorial of the series for beginners. Uh, look out for the intermediate and advanced series in the near future. And before I start I just want to say thanks to all the viewers and subscribers who have made it worthwhile. Ok so the final tutorial will focus on blending two or more images together. For example you're this guy um, and you want to impress your mates um, and tell them you've met a new girl but if you want to really wow them you're going to want a picture of you two together so in order to do this select the two photos you want to blend um, and select your lasso tool uh, roughly cut out um, around the picture of yourself it doesn't have to be too neat at this stage Okay, once you've done that, um, you want to uh, either um, cut it out by selecting Control and X, or the usual way by going to Edit, Cut. And then we're going to head over to the image we want to paste this onto. Um, go to your layers, just duplicate the background layer. Um, this will make sure we don't have to start from scratch if we mess up along the way and just hide the background lock layer okay so we're gonna make a new layer called man and we're gonna paste that into there um, he's obviously a bit too small at the moment so we're just gonna select control T to transform him and we're just gonna by holding shift um, just resize him it doesn't have to be dead deadly accurate at the moment because obviously there's things in a way that make it a bit harder um, place him where you think you might want him to be and just press enter for now and now what we're going to do let me just zoom in we're going to um, erase the background using um, a mask um, so that it looks quite realistic and then we're going to play with the curves to get the light in uh, similar on both images. All right, let's, so let's start by selecting our mask and then heading over to our paintbrush. Make sure you have black and white selected for your foreground and background. Uh, we're gonna work with back, uh, black at the moment and what that does is it erases. However, if you erase something like an arm by accident, you just switch over to the white and now actually by painting back over where you made the mistake that will bring the image back so I'm just gonna um, start erasing around him I'll probably fast forward this so I don't bore you guys at home to death um, quick note before I do start fast forwarding um, make sure you zoom in um, and adjust your brush level for harder bits um, you do that by either going up here and selecting the brush size or you can just hit the square bracket on your keyboard to edit the size of your brush okay well I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes once I've done this
Okay, so that didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, already it's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna resize him, um, make him a bit bigger. Um, move him around. Yeah, okay. Just spotted a bit of mist. Okay, alright, now what we're going to do, we're going to play with the curves. Um, as you can see, her picture has a bit more light in it than his picture did. So, uh, what we're going to do, we can either make her picture a bit darker by going to curves um, you can just play around with these make it lighter or darker um, that seems alright for that and then go on to layer select the la layer we've been working on make sure the little box is around this one because you can select either the mask or this one you're going to hold down alt um, same procedure curves and then this time we're going to tick use previous layer to create clipping mask and press ok and now what we're going to do is we're going to make his one slightly lighter so the skin tones match a bit alright and there you have it um, he successfully has pulled digitally anyway. Um, but anyway, like I mentioned, this technique can be used for family photos. Um, there's always someone missing at a family event, a birthday party, um, and you just want to digitally, digitally bring them into the photo. You want, you might want to hang that on your wall or use it as a desktop wallpaper. This method is always also used for face swapping, body part swapping, full body swapping um, and it's just something handy to know um, thanks for watching um, and this has been Vems' Tutorials